headlights, rolling wheels, and also an electric motor mounted on its steel frame. It can literally do anything a normal car can. Well, anything besides driving in the rain. We've managed to explore such a flat 2D material, and we yet managed to explore such complex design lines. I think we rolled. This is the Assault Tumbler. It's the car from the Dark Knight Rises movie, and it was made completely from scratch. The frame, the chassis, the body, the interior, and basically every other aspect was made completely in-house. It contains a Corvette engine, and it's able to reach speeds of around 30 miles per hour. It's very likely one of the best working replicas out there, and it was made by the very creative Parker Brothers. How can you go wrong? And this is just one of the coolest cars that was ever even dreamed up, so occasionally we get to take it out and drive it around and have some fun with it. This is the Splinter. It's the world's first wooden supercar that's able to compete with cars such as Porsche and even Lamborghini. The car's entirety is made up of a combination of different types of wood, such as maple, plywood, and MDF. And overall, it weighs around 1,100 kilograms. The car is able to reach a whopping speed of 700 horsepower from its twin supercharged 4.6 liter V8 engine. Unfortunately, there's only one splinter in the world, so if you want one yourself, you're unfortunately going to need to build it. This is the Vader body kit. It's a handmade car, however, the only difference is that you can build it too. It's a fiberglass body kit that's for sale on the market, which enables the average person to turn their average sedan into a supercar masterpiece. It looks like nothing else on the planet, and once it's assembled, the engine can be tweaked to achieve speeds of up to 1,000 horsepower. We have a unique design car that looks like a million dollars, and we produce it so that the average person can build it for an affordable price. The best way to call this is a rebody. Anyway, that has been